The mission of most air quality management districts is uh, basically clean air and human health. We can't really pinpoint why, but the Antelope Valley has a higher incidence of asthma, COPD, and some other lung afflictions. I lived in the Antelope Valley since 1989. I came out here as to start my family. There's a sense of self-sufficiency and, and independence here, and it's a very close-knit community. Everyone knows everyone, uh, everyone supports everyone. 30 years ago, the air quality wasn't great. There wasn't an air quality issue in the Antelope Valley until approximately the 70s. That's when the air quality became an issue in Los Angeles and it started becoming an issue in the Antelope Valley. When I took over in uh, 2010 at the AVA QMD, uh, we had one of the worst air qualities in Southern California. In my opinion, battery electric buses are the only true way to get to zero emission. What makes the Alo Valley Transit Authority special starts with the board, a very visionary, very progressive board that laid out a vision some six years ago to be a 100% electric fleet, to be the first in the nation to do it. The mayor went over to China to recruit BYD because it was the largest electric bus company in the world. We looked at other uh, brands of buses, but uh, BYD was such a superior product. We did the opposite of what people actually think. We went over and took China's technology and brought it to America. Anytime you're going into kind of what, where no one's been before, it can be scary. But the transportation industry is very, very uh, closed off. It didn't want to make the change. It did not want us to make the change, and it fought us. Well, there's a lot of people that have no other way to get around than public transit. And if we fail them, then, then they're stuck. They, they don't make a doctor's appointment, or they don't get to the grocery store, or they don't get to their job, or they don't get to their class. So a, a good bus service is essential because there's so many people that need it to get to, whether it's going to college, their schools, their doctor's appointments, and, and just getting around in an air-conditioned bus away from the elements. We went over to China to look for a better product and found it. BYD was the first heavy industrial site to come in and build the buses here. We got them to locate into Lancaster. This was about 2012. Um, if we didn't have outside thinkers like our board members, you know, beginning with our board chair, Marvin Chris, um, we'd probably still be driving diesel buses or purchasing diesel buses today. When we began this journey, we had more than 20 days of unhealthy quality uh, uh, air, if you will, and that was in 2014. Uh, and again, I say t more than 20 days, and throughout this journey, through today, we have a fully electric local fleet, and we're now seeing less than six days of, of, of dirty air. So that's, that's a huge improvement. When they talk about what amount of particulates and everything that are going into the air and how it's been so improved by having the, the buses, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. And that company it is out there. You'll see them at community events. You see them getting involved in the stuff of us, all kinds of things that are still giving to the community. Oh my goodness, when I see the buses out on the road, I get very excited. Uh, those Antelope Valley buses are everywhere. And those are like my babies. What, what makes them special is they came to this country and they set up shop and they provided good American jobs, good union jobs, good income. They're passionate about their community, they're passionate about their product. It makes me feel wonderful, honestly. We are trying to leave a better place for the next generation, right? So knowing that my kids hopefully will have a better air quality than what you know some of us have had in the past is fantastic. We're not done yet, so I believe where we're going is gonna be a lot to say for AVTA, and, and I'm just proud to be part of this agency um, and proud to say that we are the first in the nation to run a fully electric local fleet and soon to have our commuter fleet as well. It's, I mean, it's a huge accomplishment and I, and I applaud BYD uh, for what they've put here in the Animal Valley.